Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to go over the 11 interesting signs you were born to be a loner. Make sure to watch each one of them to find out how many you have. Question for you. Have you ever just wanted to fall on your bed and tune out from the world? At times, the world can be a frightening and overwhelming place. And one of the ways to defend yourself from the craziness of the outside world is to seek sanctuary from the outside world. At first look, being a loner may appear to have negative connotations. However, studies show that being a loner can lead to contentment and may even be very beneficial to one's health. However, it's also crucial to distinguish between beneficial solitude and hazardous isolation, as the line between the two might blur. Being a loner is only a personality trait that describes a person's thinking, thought process, approach to life, and overall lifestyle. Find out if your destiny is to be a loner. Here are 11 interesting signs you were born to be a loner. Number 1. You have a need to recharge. Being a loner does not imply that you avoid all social functions, rather it implies that you select them wisely and that you need time to recover afterwards. Too much socialization may overwhelm many introverts. However, it is worth noting that many loners prefer the company of others if they have the option of doing so in small doses. The need for recharging doesn't imply that you can't enjoy going out. It just means you know that the best company is your own. Number 2. You are highly independent. Do you consider yourself a trustworthy individual who dislikes dealing with others? When others choose to walk away, you don't go after them as a loner. You're a fiercely independent person who, at times, finds more trouble in dealing with people than they're worth. Even though they despise the concept of carrying someone else, a high-achieving loner could feel compelled to take up the responsibility of their failing groupmate during class tasks if they're doing an extremely poor job. Apart from that, as a loner, you aren't scared to be the lone wolf. Speak up for what you believe in and stand your ground. Number 3. You avoid drama People who were born to be a loner usually despise gossiping and spreading rumors. At their foundation, loners are not people-oriented. As a result, if the topic devolves into or descends into chatting behind people's backs, the loner may either redirect the conversation to something more engaging or simply zone out. Most loners' willing interactions with others reflect similar value sets, preferring to talk about hobbies and events rather than the current gossip. Loners know people's value and worth, and they usually support others rather than talking negatively about them. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. You are super empathetic This might be a big surprise, but empathy is one of the most obvious signs that you are a loner. Lone wolves are able to empathize and sympathize with others on an equal level. When someone has the ability to sense everyone else's pain or misery, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. However, because loners are so sensitive, they can easily see the positive side of practically any unpleasant situation. They'd rather find a solution to whatever issue is causing their pals to become irritated. Loners know that showing others just how passionate they are about the things they love to do the most, as well as being with the people that they love the most, is one of the best qualities of a personality that not everyone gets to witness. Number 5. You are not glued to your phone in the modern age of social media, instant gratification, and virtual life, it's very hard to put your phone down. But for people who were born to be a loner, sharing some private details with the whole world is one of the last things they want to do. Even if they have the journey of their lives or the best meal in the world, they do not share it avowedly. They despise pointless phone calls or silly photos posted on social media. Loners are also not interested in the life of others especially some popular influencers or public figures. They find following them a big waste of time. Loners are focused on their own lives, their ambitions, plans, and goals they want to achieve. Number 6. You are incredibly self-aware It's impossible to spend a lot of time alone without being quite self-aware. Loners have had enough time to dig deeply into themselves after spending some time alone. They figured out what they don't like and what they do enjoy, 
but they've also figured out what motivates them and what can hold them back. This truth alone explains why they are always able to remain calm in the face of adversity. Spending much time alone helps people to have a clear understanding of who they are, what they want from life, and how to achieve it. Number 7. You are not a fan of big parties People who were born to be loners usually dislike interacting with people too much, attending social occasions only where this is required. However, it is worth noting that loners love interacting from time to time. In fact, they will be joyous and charismatic, and people will appreciate being in their company. However, they are rarely in the mood for it. The majority of the time, a social function is simply an attempt to rob you of their valuable time. Loners place a high value on your time and dislike squandering it on activities they dislike. After all, engaging with others for an extended period of time leaves loners mentally and emotionally exhausted. They can be entertaining to interact with, but only when they are in the mood, which happens occasionally. Number 8. You are not a follower Loners are usually nonconformists. They have their own, independent way of doing things. When the crowds are headed to the right, loners tend to go left. Instead of society's or the masses' views of something, they base their opinion purely on its intrinsic value. They have a great intuition, which they use very often. While they aren't afraid of being part of social circles, they don't drown themselves in social obligations and commitments. Loners usually don't follow trends and always have their own opinion on something, no matter how many people think different. Number 9. You are finding romantic relationships difficult Just because loners prefer their own company, that does not rule out the possibility of a love relationship. It does, however, entail striking a balance between making the other person feel important while still allowing themselves time to be alone. Loners can be incredibly engaged and loyal to the person they love and care about, but they need time to have a space and time for themselves as well. Number 10. You like to travel solo Others envision friends and family accompanying them on their dream travels. Peak relaxation for loners usually entails flying solo the entire time. There's nothing better than going sightseeing by themselves and being able to do everything on their own terms and make the schedule exactly the way they wanted. Loners enjoy embarking on a journey on their own and letting the new things around overwhelm their senses. Number 11. You have a few good friends rather than a ton of acquaintances. Just because people like to be alone doesn't mean they don't have any friends. In fact, they usually have a solid group of great supportive people around them. It is usually the very narrow group of friends that a loner can talk to and take the advice from. People who were born to be loners are often misunderstood in that they're all thought to be antisocial. However, they can be very social and friendly, but only to a small number of particular people. These videos will be really helpful for you.